Hello, hello, and welcome, one and all, my legends. Thank you for another, I don't know, how-to video? This is going to be interesting. Um, so this is a very specific YouTube video. For one thing in particular, it is this right here that you're seeing to my right. If you're receiving this issue, mailbox archive, um, and it, you should get something in your email which says something along the lines, your archive mailbox is almost full and then gives you a big red line and you probably went through and you deleted everything in your archive and you went through your inboxes, you went through your folders and you're still having this issue. I want to talk to you how you resolve this because that has nothing to do with it oddly enough. Okay. Um, so number one, you know, this kind of advanced users, uh, user thing. So, um, yeah. Uh, if you're not comfortable with command line, then this is not the video for you. You have to use command line. Um, so I'm just going to escape out of this so I can start over. OK, so what you're going to do is you're going to type in terminal or if you're on Windows 10 or below, you're going to open up PowerShell, which is same thing. Start type in the word PowerShell and then right click it and hit run as administrator. In this case, I'm on the Windows 11 platform, so I use the terminal app. Uh, and right, same thing, right click, run as administrator. Once you do that, you're going to follow this right here. It is, get this out of the way, uh, the uh, powershellgallery.com forward slash packages forward slash exchange online management forward slash 3.0.0. Uh, I will uh, put this link right here in the bottom or in the uh, comments the notes whatever the info area and once you do that so this is what I look I just pasted it right in there it's saying that you're gonna install modules from an untrusted repository which is funny because it's from Microsoft so I'm just gonna say yes to everything and it's unpackaging it and unzipping it all right so now that that's done you're gonna go to um, this part uh, this is um, how you connect to Exchange Online PowerShell. So you need to import that. So just because we downloaded it, it doesn't know about it. So you still got to import that into your PowerShell. And there it goes. I know it gives you no warning that it worked or didn't work. Um, yeah. Okay. So this stuff here, you can use this, but this is so mind numbing It because it doesn't actually, this isn't real this isn't real like it talks you through each thing your upn is your user principal name format um so basically how you log in so i like to use is if you scroll down this one okay um and it connects to your uh microsoft and now if you're gcc or higher or dod or germany organization or whatever but everybody else we're all pretty standard here and we have this one so I copy this one and I click right here and you just uh, remove all that. I'm going to blur this out, okay? Vitek at, at cardiac. And it should pop up for some authentication. So it does. And I'm going to go and grab that auth. Okay. I'm going to pull this off screen, actually, because uh, this is very, 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 very private. Um, so if you have your authentication for your admin credentials for Office 365, like everybody wants. Um, all right. So uh, you, put, you, put, you type that in. And as long as you don't have two-factor two authentication on, you're pretty good. Okay. So, uh, yep. This sometimes doesn't work. So I use this version here. Yeah. Without multi-factor authentication. Um, because it does inline credentials. Um, yeah. So anyways, so now we're done with that. You should have you know, all connected here. It says this version three PowerShell module contains a new rest API back in exchange commandlets, which doesn't require W or WinRM for client server communication. You can now run these command lines after turning off WinRM basic authentication. Your client machine is okay. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, so moving on. So um, here, let's do this and this. Okay, 
so now you're going to do this. So run the command in the Exchange Online PowerShell to enable auto-expanding archiving in your entire organization or for specific users. So I'm going to do for very specific users. We're going to do this. Whoa, that made it look horrible. All right. Enable mailbox for, and then I'm going to blur this out. So this has been for yourself. If you're doing it for yourself, whatever your email address is, and then do dash auto expanding archive. Now you do have to have a, a, a license called e exchange online two or higher, or you have to have the archive license enabled on your license for you to be able to use this if you don't it will not work and uh, there we go uh, i enabled it um and uh yeah so now it is auto expanding um but how do you verify if this is working or not well it's pretty simple you're gonna do the the command there get organized organize or <laughs> organization config boom auto expanding archive enabled and that told me nothing oh fine And then all we do is we fill in this user account information. So we do this one, we do like this. So, uh, 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 uh. True, okay. And that's it. That's the end of the video, under 10 minutes. I thank you so much for viewing. If you had any issues with uh, your archive and the annoying email you get every week because of this, I highly suggest you either reach out to us here um, and we can attempt to look into your specific problem and uh, give us a look at vitechaz.com. Again, that's vitechaz.com. You can ignore the start here and just kind of go to the contact us section. Uh, fill out a form and, uh, and tell us what your issue is. And I will do my best to get with you as soon as possible. Um, we're a full-fledged IT company. We're um, Microsoft partnered. Um, so yeah, any kind of questions you have, please fill it out there. You can also leave some comments below if you have any comments or questions or concerns. Uh, please like and dislike this video, and don't forget to think about subscribing if you feel like it. All right, take care. Bye.